Hi everyone, I'm going to be walking you through how to use Woodpecker's shareable questionnaires feature today. First off, to start, navigate to app.woodpecker.legal in your browser. You can also access that directly from Woodpecker's add-in from Microsoft Word. Once you're here, you're going to see a list of any shareable questionnaires that you've previously created. Let's just start by creating a brand new one. We're going to go on and click create a questionnaire. Then we're going to get a list of all of the documents or templates that we've created in our document collection. Some of these will be in folders, some of these will be uncategorized. Many of them will have a shared template or shared folder marked next to them. And just as a refresher, those are templates that folks in your team have created and saved to the document collection that you can use, but that you do not own. In this case, what I want to do is create a client-facing questionnaire out of the incorporation folder that I've created that contains the certificate of incorporation final template, as well as an engagement agreement. All I have to do is just click on this check mark next to the folder name. I'm going to go ahead and click generate. And that's going to actually analyze these two templates for me and allow me to generate a unique client-facing questionnaire that will sit on top of these two templates. So let's call this incorporation intake form. You can see here are the two questionnaire templates that I've selected to create my questionnaire from. And then here is actually a list of all of the unique fields that show up in these two templates that I've selected. What I can do is change the name of any of these or exclude them from the final client-facing questionnaire so that the, my client only sees exactly what I want them to see. So for example, this date here, I might want to change this to today's date. Now you can see here that it now says today's date. We still have the name of the initial field here just so we know what it used to be called. I can go down through the rest of these and just make sure that they make sense. For example, this registered agent name probably isn't something I want my client to see. So I'm gonna go ahead and click exclude this field from the questionnaire over on the right. Again, total shares of common stock is something that I'm gonna fill in after the fact as well as the stock price per share and the incorporator name, as well as the incorporator address. I'm going to exclude all of these from the client-facing questionnaire. What that means is that when these two templates are generated based on the information that the client fills out in the questionnaire, in the final documents, those fields are going to be blank, but I can still fill those in using Woodpecker in the way that I normally would. Now, the rest of these, company address, city, county, zip, those look good. But let's change client first name to just first name. Let's also change client last name to just last name, client street address to just street address, client city and state to just city and state, as well as zip code and salutation. Of course, I'm going to want to hide the fee amount from my client and fill that in after the fact once they've provided their information to me here. Now, what we can see here is that we're going to end up with a questionnaire that has all of these fields that are not grayed out and they're going to be named exactly what I've specified they should be named. And finally, let's enter in our client's email address here. I'm going to type in my own email address just as a test. We always recommend that you send a questionnaire to yourself first just to make sure that it looks how you expect before you send it out to your client. Of course, we can add as many different recipient ad email addresses as we want here, but this looks ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and click Save, and now we'll generate the questionnaire, and we're going to send it off to the recipient address that you just specified. You can see that now here I have another line item that says Incorporation Take Intake Form. I can go in and edit that form at any time, changing the name or even changing the fields that show up, as well as adding additional recipients if I like, or I could delete the questionnaire entirely. Now let's go and check my email here. And I can see that I got the questionnaire emailed to me as a recipient. If I go ahead and click on that email, I'm going to see that this questionnaire has been emailed to me and I've been prompted to fill it out by the requester. I'll just go ahead and click on this link here, which will then take me to actually fill out the questionnaire as a client. At this point, I can go in and fill out this form with my name and my company's information. After I'm done filling out the form, I'll go ahead and click Submit. And my questionnaire is going to get submitted to Woodpecker, and all of the templates that I previously specified are going to get automatically populated. At this point, your client is told that the creator of the questionnaire has been notified, and that the questionnaire has been submitted, and the documents have been populated correctly. Now, if we pop back over to what the questionnaire suggester sees, this is the email that I used to request the questionnaire. Let's go ahead and click in on this email that I just received, indicating that the questionnaire has been submitted. I can see that I received an email indicating that my recipient has submitted my questionnaire. If I scroll down to the bottom here, you can see that I have a CSV file with all of the client's form responses, as well as a zip folder containing both documents that I specified should be populated. And those would be that engagement letter, as well as that incorporation document. And that's it. It's as simple as that. You can navigate back to the Woodpecker dashboard to generate any number of questionnaires that you need, as well as add additional recipients to them as you see fit.